Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will talk about Vertex Execution View. So, Vertex Execution View shows how your vertices are executed over a period of time. So, it basically has three parts. The first one is the Vertex Selector. The second one is the Vertex Running Status Pane. And the third one is the Detailed Vertex Information Pane, which we will look at in the demo. So we have already seen a demo of this vertex execution view. Using this view, you can diagnose your failing vertices or unfinished vertices or vertices that is using more than the uh, given memory usage. So probably if you want to see the original view, just go to original vertices and the creating, queuing and running stages are displayed as well. So these are the different stages that you can think of. So here you see the process name, this is SV1 and uh, this is the second stage and this is the third stage. And also note that these stages have started after the previous stage has run successfully, but it need not always be the case. So the stage two can begin even before stage one is complete and the stage three can begin even before the stage two is complete. That's basically because vertices in different stages have relationship between them. So the stage one vertices may have dependent vertices in stage two and the stage two vertices may have dependent vertices in stage three. So a vertices or a vertex in, in a stage can start running. If the vertex on which it depends on top is complete, even if the preceding stage is not done. Okay. So this is one view. And if you see the critical path view, this is the longest running vertices. For example, if my job takes 10 minutes and these are the vertices that are responsible for making it run 10 minutes. So if you want to look at the vertex that's taking a lot of time to consume, just go to this critical path and you will know what are the vertices, what are the stages that's taking the longest time to complete. Okay. So next is failed vertices. We do not have anything. So let's go to the next one. And again, we do not have anything like a runtime close to limit because our job is very small. So we really do not have that much of data to give it to the vertices and note that each vertex can hold a RAM approximately equivalent to six GB of memory. So we are not providing anything close to that. So we will not have any of these issues. So usually in a typical big data scenario, you will get all these uh, issues. Thank you.